My name is Orla Tracy. I'm a Loretto sister. I'm from Ireland, but for the last 13 years I have been living and working in South Sudan. In South Sudan, I am principal of a primary and secondary school and the overall responsible for our clinic and building projects that we have in Rumbek town in South Sudan. Um, I studied with the sisters of IBVM and when I finished school, I had that desire to, to know more about them. I didn't really want to be a sister, but I was admiring the life somewhat. But you know, it is not a popular thing to do, so I didn't want to be unpopular. I thought if I studied to be a religion teacher, it would be enough, and my thirst would be satisfied. But in studying, I longed for more. I wanted more God talk, more prayer, I wanted to know more. During my holidays, I used to travel a lot, and in my final year of college, I traveled to India, where I worked with some of my college friends. We actually worked with the IBVM sisters. And it was there that really I was challenged to make a decision, if I was going to continue searching, or if I was going to actually make a decision and see if this was the life for me. So when I came back from India, I began to teach and during that time, I got in contact with the sisters more formally and I joined them. In, in IBVM, you, you don't just ring up and say, I'm coming. It takes a process. So it actually took two years from the moment I had made a decision to join. It takes two years to actually follow through, to meet the sisters, to discern, to live with them for some weeks to see if this is the life. Uh, I live in South Sudan and there is that very famous comment of Mary Ward that said women in time to come will do much. In South Sudan there is, uh, life is difficult for everybody but particularly I would see life is difficult for women. Uh, only one in 100 girls will finish secondary school in South Sudan and life is hard so for me, working in a school in South Sudan, it's the embodiment of that dream of Mary Ward. And I know our students love that story of Mary Ward and that vision of Mary Ward, that women in time to come can do much. And for sure, many of our first graduates have already finished university and they're beginning to come back to our town, to our city, and they're beginning to contribute to society and to help build it. So for me, the story of Mary Ward is very much alive and well in South Sudan today. When I joined the sisters, I wasn't sure I wanted to be a sister. I was a bit unclear. And when I was 24, I made the decision to start that journey. I was kind of hoping it wouldn't work out because I wanted to fit in with the culture and I wanted to fit in with, um, with what was going on. And I thought maybe God would be satisfied with a few years and then I could go off and get married and have children. That was really my goal. But I think as I came into IBVM and I met the sisters and I, I learned about prayer and about God, there was always that uh, desire for more. And still, it's nice because that desire in me is still there for more, to know God, to connect with something greater in my life. In South Sudan, I began, we began with a secondary school for girls and I was a teacher in the school, but we met many challenges. And the lovely thing about South Sudan is that the needs are great and people are ready to, to encourage us to try, to see what more we can do. And Mary Ward followed the spirituality of Ignatius and it was always about the more. The more for my life, but the more for others in service as well. We began the girls boarding school and we realized that the boys and girls in our village weren't going to school. And the parents asked us, would we open the school? And we felt, yes, this is a, a need and this is a call to, to the more and to the greater, to help the boys and girls to, to experience education, but in experiencing education to try and find the more for themselves in life. We started the primary school, the primary school was doing very well, and then we realized that healthcare was a huge issue in our community. Many of our students were suffering from small ailments and they weren't able to get medical treatment. 
So again, the community asked us, would we consider uh, a clinic for the community, for, particularly for the school community? And again, God made it possible. One of our sisters came from Kenya and she has started the clinic and it's a, a thriving clinic now. And again, I think in the discovery of a newness, we also discovered something more about their lives and the challenges of their life, the health care, the trauma, the hunger. It, it opened new possibilities for us and it helped us also to, to deepen our relationship with the people as well and to try and get a more holistic sense of their lives in not just feeding their minds and their spirits but also their body and helping the care of their body as well. So for me in IBVM it's been a constant call to the more to more in my life, but also to more in giving to others and to be with others and to journey with others. If I was to do it all again, I would be very happy. Uh, it's not without its troubles, and I don't want people to think that it's been an easy life. It hasn't. Obviously, there are moments in life when I doubt, there are moments in life when I'm challenged, but I love my life and I love my work um, and I love the sisters that I'm with and the journey that we've been on all of these years. I recommend it. Uh, I think it's a great life. Obviously it's not for everybody, but I've been very happy in it. I think each culture uh, calls a different kind of person. I think in Europe today though, if somebody is interested in IBVM, for me it is someone who, who can embrace change and who can stand aside from the crowd. It's not easy to stand aside from the crowd, so you need a lot of courage, a lot of confidence. Somebody with a big heart who likes adventure, who uh, has a good sense of humor, who can laugh at themselves and their own mistakes, and adaptability, internationality, a view to more than just who we are, but to see us beyond our borders as well. Thank you.